Hello and welcome to another video from myself, James Lawson Smith. Today we're going to be doing a how-to video because I've had a few of you ask me how do you make YouTube videos using images and music. So it's going to quickly go over a free option that you can do if you're using Windows because unfortunately I'm a Windows guy, I don't do Mac. Um, the application I'm using is Windows Live Movie Maker. This version I have is for Windows 7, but there are other versions for Windows XP. If you don't have this already installed on your system, you can just go along to the Microsoft website and search for Windows Movie Maker. And it's a free download, so you can install it on your system and follow along and do exactly what I'm doing. Although it might be slightly different if it's the Windows XP version, because I've never actually used that version. So I'm just going to quickly do a quick overview of what all the different parts are. So you've got your control bar along the top that gives you all the options for making your movies. You have your preview window just here that I'll just show you sort of what's what and all that sort of thing. You've got your control options down below and then you've got your storyboard over to the right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I, I want to go and grab some images. So I'm going to click on add videos and photos. Yes, you can do videos as well, although I'm just going to be concentrating on images. Now I've got all my photos here. These are royalty free photos that I have. So I have full distribution rights on all of these. I'm just going to do control A and that's going to select all the pictures within that folder. So I'm going to click OK. If you notice, some of them automatically have titles embedded underneath. Now this takes it from the meta tags that are embedded within the photos. Not all photos will have this. So if you want to get rid of any of those, you can just select the text and hit delete, or you can right click and select remove. Okay, so we're going to click back on the first one. So if I hit play on that now, it's just a very basic animation. It's just going to go from one picture over to another. So that's straight away, we've got a slideshow of sorts, although it may, it may be very basic. So let's jazz this up a little bit. So I'm going to go up here and click on fade. So what this is going to do is going to fade from one to another. Now I'm actually going to hit no on this this one so far because I'm going to show you how to do the music slightly differently in a moment. So doing the fade option, it's going to automatically bring in a title screen to, so that you can introduce your video. So I'm going to do image to video video demo thing. Now it's going to click outside the box. Now I'm going to click back on it again because I want to move it up here. So there we are, it's moved into the middle. So if I hit play now, that's going to fade in and then it's going to fade from this one to the first picture. Now again, we can jazz this up a little bit more. So I'm going to select the first frame, I'm going to hit Control A, and then I'm going to go over to Animations. Now, as I'm doing the very quick and dirty method, I'm going to be quite lazy, although you can go along and select individually what animation you want each one to do. If you just hover over it, it'll give you a preview of what it will do. But I'm going to be quite lazy, I'm just going to stick with the fade, and then I'm going to click on this one with all of them selected, and the this is going to automatically pan and tilt each of your images. So once it gets to the first image, it will show you what I'm talking about. So it just adds a little bit more of a dynamic touch to your video. So you see it's actually moving the video about. Okay, and then the other one is just going to fade back in. And, you know, it's going to do lots of random different things just to, you know, add a bit more creativity to your video. So I'm going to pause that there now. Now I'm going to go and add some music. So if I go back to the Home tab, and then add music. Now you've got two options here. You can add music, which will add music to the beginning of your video, the images, which is over here, and it will play through the whole thing. Or you can add music to current position. Now if you see the black bar there, if I do add music to current position, it will start the music playing at this point. Although I don't want that, so I'm just going to go add music, and then I'm going to go and select some more royalty free music. 
having a bit of trouble finding it there for some reason. Now this music's very kindly been donated by a gentleman called Jason Shaw, or Audio Nautics as some of you may know him slightly better. If you do a search for Audio Nautics or Jason Shaw on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find him. I'll put a link down to his website. He provides all this music royalty free and is free to download as long as you give him credit. So I've added the music there. Now some of you may be wondering, not all music will be the same length as your animation. So to sort that out, you select the music, I'm going to click on animations, what's oh, no, I'm going to click on project, yeah it's in project, and then you just hit fit to music. Now what that's going to do is actually make your animations the same length as your music. Now another option while we're in here in the project, I would suggest for YouTube videos to select the 16x9 widescreen option. Now the reason for this is the default player on YouTube is widescreen. So if you choose the standard 4x3, it's going to put the annoying black bars at the sides to make it fit into the 16x9 window. So if you make it 16x9, you get rid of those black bars. So I'm just going to go and click on the very first one and we'll hit play and see what this looks like. So there we go, that's a very quick and dirty way of creating a fairly you know, impressive looking slideshow with a few movements and animations. Now if you go through you can, you know, you can add So you can add you can add different effects and things to your videos. You know, you can add different sort of visual effects and animations and all that sort of you can you can be as lazy or as detailed and creative as you like. Now all you have to do when you go to export the video, if you do save movie, and then you just name it what you like, I'm just going to name it, you know, leave it as my movie, I'm going to save it to my desktop, so it's desktop, save, and then there we are, saving movie. Now the other option you can do, I'm just going to hit cancel on this one, you can hit the little drop down and then it will ask you for what settings you want to export this. So if you want to email this to someone, you can just email it. If you want to burn it to a DVD or for a computer. So if you hover over it, it will tell you what the settings are. Now I'm going to select for high definition video because that's what YouTube allows. So display size is 1920 by 1080, aspect ratio widescreen, bitrate 24 by 0.19 megabits per second, estimated file size 173 megabytes per minute of video. So this is about two and a half minutes, so it's going to be about 400 meg or so. So I'm actually going to click on recommended settings. So again, if you hover over this, it will tell you what the recommended settings are. So again, it's the high definition. So I'm going to click on recommended settings, keep it as my movie on the desktop, save and off we go and it starts saving it. Now it can take a while for it to render out the movie and save it depending on how many animations and effects that you've got on the video and also depending on the quality of your and speed of your system it can take a while to do this so I'd suggest going off and you know making a cup of coffee or you know go around the shop and get yourself a packet of crisps or something. Um, so that's a very quick and easy way for free to make an image video with music for YouTube. If you have any questions regarding this process or anything like that at all, you can ask me in comments below here or send me a message via YouTube. If you have any questions in regards to any other computer tech related things, again, you know, send me a question via the send message or you can use the Google moderator that I have installed on my home page on YouTube. I'll put a little annotation there so you can go along to my main user page and you know send me a question and people can vote it up and I'm more likely to make a video response to the ones that have got higher votes. So please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.